get with all of these accounts just to make the worksheet work. Uh, that's just how the worksheet's gonna work. Don't worry about this side over here. That's gonna be when we adjust the information. The first thing you're gonna probably say is, well, you know, we have an income statement. Let's go look at the income statement and see if that's the right number. And if we go over here and we go to the income statement, uh, we're gonna say, no, it's not. The net income is 158.1. It's not the change in retained earnings, or it doesn't appear to be in this case. And why would that be? Because there's more things happening in the retained earnings. What else could have happened? We could have paid dividends. We could have, you know, paid dividends on it. So obviously we did pay dividends on it. But once again, we're gonna have to break that out. We're gonna have to break that out later into multiple different numbers. So I'm gonna basically highlight this and say, you know what, that number is not right. But before I start breaking that out, let's find a home for all these numbers. Let's be in balance. Then let's go back and break that out into its components. So that's why I'm not gonna to go to the income statement at this point, except to verify the fact that that number is going to need more work to it. All right, but now we found a home for this one. So I can say, that's good. I'm gonna make this one green. Found a home for it. All right, for the rest of it, I'm gonna just go from this side down. So remember, we're gonna skip cash because that's gonna be the ending. We're gonna to go to receivables next time. So we got this change in receivables. And the question is, where are we gonna put the change? Is it in the uh, cash flows from operations, cash flows from investing, cash flow 